China is putting a new spin on an old coronavirus conspiracy theory. America is to blame. Welcome to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. Join me on social media. And this episode is sponsored by PC Doctor Toolbox. Protect your PC from software crashes, hardware failures, and the kind of glitches that make your life miserable. So, millions of people in China have once again been put under harsh lockdown. Last week, I did a full rundown of the surge in Delta variant coronavirus cases throughout China. Or as I call it, the CCP virus. because. It spread thanks to the Chinese Communist Party's initial cover-up. And with the latest Delta surge, we're seeing the Chinese regime revert back to its favorite tried-and-true propaganda tactic. Blaming the U.S. Do you know about the U.S. Army's Fort Detrick labs? Do you know they research on dangerous viruses for decades? Chinese officials carrying out a propaganda-fueled war of words and tweets. The apparent intention to muddy the waters in the search for the origin of COVID-19. Okay, that video was from February. The Chinese Communist Party never really stopped blaming the U.S. But the Chinese regime is now doubling down on saying the U.S. was the real origin of the CCP virus. They've been saying that since March of last year. But with the surge in new lockdowns in China happening right now, the CCP wants to remind any Chinese citizens who might be getting upset the party isn't delivering on its zero cases promise, they should be blaming the U.S. instead. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Zhao Lijian held a meeting with Chinese state-run media at the end of July. He said, the U.S. should invite WHO experts to investigate Fort Detrick and its 200-plus bio labs overseas. Which is kind of funny. That was the same month China said it wouldn't allow an investigation into the Wuhan Institute of Virology. But it's calling for the U.S. to have every single one of its bio labs inspected. Zhao also suggested American military athletes who attended the World Military Games in Wuhan in October 2019 could have brought the coronavirus into China reiterating a baseless claim he made on Twitter in March 2020. But the blame game doesn't stop there. More after the break. Welcome back. With millions under lockdown in China right now, the Communist Party is going full steam ahead trying to blame the coronavirus on the U.S. The Chinese Consul General of Rio de Janeiro wrote this lovely piece called How Long Will the Evil of Fort Detrick Sustain? He somehow links the U.S. biolab with human experiments Japanese forces performed on Chinese people during World War II. Sorry, not World War II. The War to Resist Japanese Aggression. That's what the Chinese Communist Party calls it. And in case you don't fully understand how much the party has bred hatred of the Japanese into the hearts and minds of Chinese people today, here's a video of a recent Children's Day celebration. Killing Japanese soldiers. So yeah, connecting Fort Detrick to the Japanese in World War II, not good. Here's a 30-minute report from state-run CCTV called The Dark Inside Story of Fort Detrick. Here's how it starts. Blood is older, older than the trees, younger than the mountains. I'm sure it gets darker later on. Actually, the report is a mashup of stories about World War II-era experiments, unproven allegations that residents living near Fort Detrick got cancer from buried waste, and speculation that respiratory illnesses in the town near Fort Detrick in the summer of 2019 were actually COVID. At one point, they mentioned MKUltra. So there's a lot going on here. And you know how China's internet is heavily censored and nothing goes viral unless the Communist Party wants it to? Well, a hashtag related to the CCTV report was the top trending topic on Tuesday morning. It has since been viewed 420 million times. But this goes way beyond Chinese state-run media. 
The Chinese Communist Party is pulling all of its strings internationally to get momentum going for an investigation into Fort Detrick. Last month, my favorite Chinese state-run media, the Global Times, called for people to sign an open letter to the WHO calling for an investigation into Fort Detrick. Signing it only required a single click. No name, no registration or email, just a click. It got 25 million signatures. Amazing. This is an opportunity for CCP shills worldwide to push the narrative, like the Filipino scholars who signed the petition. And then there was this obscure Italian tabloid that picked up the story. It claims the U.S. military spread the virus to Italy through a blood donation program. The Chinese state media ate it up. The headline of this post from the Communist Youth League reads, Damning evidence! The coronavirus entered Europe from Fort Detrick via a U.S. Army blood donation program. So for the Chinese Communist Party, it pays to have friends around the world willing to help join the call for an investigation into Fort Detrick. But sometimes, the party's search for friends goes too far. That happened earlier this week, when several Chinese state-run media published articles that include a quote from Wilson Edwards, a biologist in Switzerland. On his Facebook page, Edwards complained about the politicization of the search for the origin of the CCP virus. Edwards also claimed to have sources inside the WHO telling him that the U.S. was pressuring and intimidating the WHO. Sounds bad, right? There's only one problem. Wilson Edwards isn't real. The Swiss embassy in Beijing posted a tweet basically saying that Wilson Edwards doesn't exist and accusing Chinese state-run media of publishing fake news. A BBC reporter found Wilson Edwards' Facebook page, which definitely looked like it belonged to a real person who has only three friends and only posted once, coincidentally the post that Chinese state-run media wrote articles about. After this all came out, those state-run media articles started quietly disappearing from the internet. So did Chinese state media create the Wilson Edwards sock puppet account so they could use it for propaganda and then get caught? Or did they get fooled by an account created by another branch of China's propaganda apparatus? It's a mystery. A hilarious mystery. And this episode is sponsored by PC Doctor Toolbox. Computer and software crashes, hardware failures, and general computer slowdowns are way too common. And they can come up during the worst times, like during a business meeting or when you're traveling away from home and your trusted IT person isn't around. If you're concerned about the health of your computer and want tools to prevent untimely system issues, you should be using PC Doctor Toolbox. Stop crashes before they happen. And we have a special 50% off discount just for China Uncensored viewers. Use the link and coupon code below to take advantage of this limited time offer. I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching China Uncensored.